And if you find yourself, like me, going through Instagram, being like, um, okay, everyone looks so perfect here, and then here I am, literally in my robe, like, eating a packet of chips, being like, okay, look at my face. And then like, you put the camera on and it flips onto you and you're like, holy schnitz, I look great. <laughs> hey fam, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jess and I have new hair. What do you guys think? I haven't dyed my hair dark in um, like probably six years now. So if you guys like it, please let me know because yeah, it's a, it's a new change for me. <laughs> Anyway, so today's video is all about skin, skin texture, like real skin. So if you have real skin, I want you to watch it. So I'm going to just do a really simple makeup look. It's something that you could wear in summer when you're dying of heat. Like today, it's about like 30 degrees outside. So I'm going to wear something that isn't going to fall off when I wear it. So one of the main reasons I'm doing this video is because I always get people messaging me and saying, oh my God, do your skincare routine, which I am going to be doing very soon. But people always assume I have perfect skin and I honestly don't. Like I have, I'm not gonna say I don't have good skin, I do have good skin and I'm really blessed to have good skin, but I have a lot of other issues. So I have pigmentation, I've got dark circles, I've got very large pores. The only reason you can't see it is because I've got so much lighting right now. I'm gonna put a little clip here of me outside so you guys can see a little bit more of my real skin. You know what I mean? Hey everyone, so I'm up close and personal for you. So I just wanted to kind of show you my beautiful textured skin and um, that it's really hot so the makeup is 80% sweated off um, but this is in natural lighting with no other texture, no other texture, no other lighting. Um, as I move you can see that it just starts to change up. Obviously in the sun you see crazy stuff so <laughs> just wanted to show you that skin is normal and I just want to show you my skin up and personal oh. so I used to be on Instagram a lot um, especially on the explore page let me know in the comments if this is something you do as well and I would be so depressed because I would always feel like oh my god my skin is never like it's never it doesn't look like that I've got so many wrinkles I've got all these pores I would literally spend hours on YouTube hours on Google typing and trying to figure out how the hell can I get rid of my pores? How can I shrink my pores? Why aren't they shrinking? I don't understand why all these beautiful people have perfect skin and here I am trying every single product. I don't even, I don't think you guys know how much I've spent on products just to get perfect skin. Sweaty. And the truth of the matter is there's no such thing as perfect skin. There really is no such thing. Unless you're a baby, a newborn, then yes, you do have perfect skin. Otherwise, we're human. We're human beings, okay? I'm just gonna put my hair up because I'm dying. Humans have normal skin. We have textures, we have lines, you know? And there's an app, um, there's an app, oh. There's an Instagram page that I sometimes go on when I'm like, okay, I need to kind of get back into reality and realize I am human, I am beautiful the way I am, and it's fine, it's fine, I can't change. Like, I can't sit there and be a child again and wish my skin looked perfect when, it, when I was a baby. So JLo just came out with her new skin line and everyone talks about how her skin is so perfect and her skin is actually amazing, especially for her age. Like, can we just give her props? So I came across this page and it's called Celeb, Celebs Up Close. And there's a photo of JLo and as you can see, she also has wrinkles, she has texture, she has like a little bit of fine lines. And she is honestly one of the most beautifulest, if that's a word, women like in our day and age right now and just I just want to also have a disclaimer I am not giving or shading anyone in this video I think we're all queens and we all should like literally embrace each other and you know uplift each other because that's what it's about like we already get enough hate from other people we shouldn't be hating on each other because we are we are women we are women and we should always embrace the fact that we're all beautiful in our own way shape and form so no hate to anyone because I don't ever want anyone to think I'm hating on anyone. I genuinely love, literally, like I'm such a woman's woman and I feel like I love when other people are too because it just makes me like, it jays me up to a new level. I should do a behind the scenes of when I'm doing my clients and the stuff I say behind the scenes. Like everyone tells me like, you need to, you need to record this and I just, I just get so in the zone. I love when people are confident, you know, everyone should feel confident. And I wasn't confident for a very long time because of all this perfection that you see on Instagram and on 
Facebook and on YouTube and I have to remember that one it's lighting and two like it's Facetune, it's Photoshop, it's filters. I use filters myself when I want it, when I feel like I don't look that great and I just want to look perfect or flawless in my opinion. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna put a filter on. And then I feel like, mm. then I take the filter off, I'm like, damn, <laughs> that's me, <laughs> okay. But I've learned to accept who, who I am, how I look, and I'm truly blessed that I've come to a place like that, but I really want to do that because I literally know so many girls, young girls, that aren't like that and it genuinely breaks my heart because so many people now are committing suicide, they want to get plastic surgery when they're 13. I'm not against plastic surgery, if you want to enhance something or fix something, go for it. But when you're a child, you should not even be thinking like that, you should just be focused on happiness and playing and like school and anything else. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> but obviously these young girls as well have social media, so they're always on their social media and they're looking up these amazing, beautiful women um, who are all beautiful, but they obviously use Photoshop, they use like filters. Ariana Grande, if you go to her Instagram or like any of her videos, she is literally, like I think she is so stunning, honestly. She doesn't even have a frick, like a pore or a texture or anything, anything on her skin. She's literally like, the most flawless person on her page but when you see this photo you will realize that she actually is a normal human like oh wow okay she's she's beautiful as well she's just she also has amazing skin Kendall Jenner is a supermodel a supermodel guys she was in Victoria's Secret she does all these amazing runways she's like literally gorgeous I love her and she also has some wrinkles she has texture she has acne you know, she's been dealing with that for so long. They have access to the best dermatologists, the best skin people, the best um, plastic surgeons. But it's literally impossible to fix normal skin because it's normal. We all have pores. We all have textured skin. We all have lines under our eyes. No matter how many fillers and stuff you do, you have one line, at least one. Like at least a little line, okay? And these are a few examples of people that have a little, little, little line. Kylie Jenner, she's literally like a billionaire and her skin is still textured. It's normal. It is normal, guys, okay? Cardi B, honestly, always looks beyond flawless to me. I feel like she she looks like she has butter skin, like her skin is just like butter. I actually know someone that has worked on her and I, I reached out to her and we had, a, we had a little chat and she said to me, she goes, her skin's beautiful, but she, she had a few pimples, she has a lot, like a lot of lines, she has um, really dry patches around her mouth and this photo also proves it. She is like, she gave Offset like what, $300,000 for his birthday? Like, they have access to these things and they still have problematic skin. It's, it's so normal, it's so common to have that. It's just not common to pretend and to act like your skin is perfect all the time. And I think that we see that all the time. That's why I never edit any of my photos. I never put filters on them. When I upload it, I upload them raw because I want you to see that I have texture. Like no matter how perfect or great you think my skin is, I still have bad days. It's normal. Now, I personally have never had acne. I do get my pimples. I do get my pimples obviously when I get my periods, um, <laughs> which I guess is normal. But my sister has had problematic skin since she was about, she's 29 now. So I think since she was like 12, 13 when she got her periods. And I remember she would be so, so anxious about going out because she used to just feel like, she used to always tell me just how am I gonna cover my pimples? How do I get rid of my pimples? So we, when we were younger, used to spend hours literally just trying to figure out how to get rid of pimples. Now, there obviously are things to do to help prevent it and to like, I guess get them to go but in saying that it is so it's normal and I've noticed a lot a lot now people always say when you post up free like a makeup free selfie people will say stuff like oh my god like you're so beautiful um, that's so brave of you or you should be so proud of yourself what do you even mean proud of what look I understand that they are trying to seem nice and to bring some sort of positivity there. But in saying that, that is something that we shouldn't really be saying because it's kind of like saying, oh, like, wow, you're so, like, 
you're so brave that you're actually uploading something where you don't have makeup like oh my god you should i would be so scared i've actually had people say i would never ever post a photo without my makeup and i was like why and they're like well because like i don't look as good as you and i'm like what does that even mean i don't understand like i think that we should obviously always embrace our skin no matter what we look like because that's who we are and whatever you put on top of your skin no matter how many layers of makeup you put your skin will always shine through and that's why I love embracing and showing different types of models and different type of people on my Instagram because it's so normal to have that kind of skin and you should feel so beautiful and empowered by that I recently did a model who has quite a bit of acne and she had a lot of scarring and she was so self-conscious about her skin that it broke my heart because she's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. And she has been doing all these treatments. She's really been trying to get her skin to look better. And I'm so proud of her. And we were having a chat and she said, you know what, Jess, you really made me feel beautiful. And I'm like, but you are beautiful. I'm like, no matter what you see on social media, that is just a perfect image of someone because they want to feel good about themselves and they want to show people like, oh wow, like look how I look. But I promise you, if you were to see these people in real life on a hot day, even a cold day, catch them off guard or whatever, you will honestly be so shocked at how normal they look. They look just like you. And we shouldn't be comparing ourselves with something that we do so often, and I know I used to do it. Just remember that even the most successful, rich, you know, people that have all these resources, we are not a filter, okay? Filters are there just for like a moment of flawlessness but we are flawless in our own skin you are flawless the way you look you are so beautiful okay you're so gorgeous no matter what your skin type is you can have pimples you can have scarring you can have i have had my share of blackheads guys i used to have like people when i would go get a i'm so 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 sorry i'm just dying in her i would have my skin people say oh my god your pores are so big and i would literally go home and cry because i'm like I don't understand why I'm the only one who has pores. I literally thought there was a way to shrink them and no one would tell me. And I was like, why? I just, I just don't understand. And it started to really get to me until I started doing more skin research. I did a little skin course and I realized it's normal. But no one tells you that. We all have videos. If you go on YouTube, I'm sure if you type in how to shrink pores, 10,000 videos will come up. Honey, you can, like you can't even really minimize them really. You can. Do that gradually by doing like exfoliators, like um, gentle exfoliators, like the Paula Choice. But to say that you can go ahead and shrink your pores and they'll be gone, that is literally unrealistic. And no one should be claiming that false, false, false narrative because it's wrong and we don't abide by that rules. That makes sense on this channel. No. I just want to say that you are so gorgeous. You're so beautiful in your own skin and whether you have acne, whether you have textured skin, whether you have pigmentation like me, just remember that you are so beautiful and it honestly, like you can buy the best skin products in the world, but it's only gonna do like so much. Don't waste your money on products just because you think that, or just because they say that it's gonna get rid of it because I promise you 89% of the time it's not. And I wanna do a skin video on what I actually use and what has really helped my skin I believe. And it's going to be a lot about diet as well. And I know people don't want to hear that because you always want to see like a quick fix. But let me tell you something. <laughs> I have learned the hard way that you can't just have a quick fix, especially when it comes to your skin, especially when it comes to your body and your well-being. It is all internal. And that is something that I, I really want to like push on. Like I'm squeezing my hands because it's so real. And I just want you guys to understand that it's so normal for us to have textured skin. We are always show our best part on social media. And just remember there's lighting, there's photographers, there's editing. There is so many different aspects of that. But we are so beautiful. And I tell my sister every single day that she's so beautiful because she really is. And acne should never stop anyone from looking beautiful. You can wear foundation every day. You don't have to wear foundation every day. You can do whatever makes you happy. Just remember that you in your own skin, you are perfect. You are so perfect like that. Of course, we can obviously try to enhance ourselves by doing little things, but overall, you're so perfect how you are, and that's how you were made because you're so beautiful. And everyone has different eyes, so just don't remember that, and don't let anyone, 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 anyone get to you. And if you find yourself, like me, going through Instagram, being like, um, okay, everyone looks so perfect here, and then here I am, literally in my robe, 
like eating a packet of chips being like, okay, look at my face. And then like you put the camera on and it flips onto you and you're like, holy schnitz, I look great. <laughs> I just want you to remember that they're probably doing the exact same thing reading your comments. They probably feel the exact same way. Everyone has insecurities and it's completely fine. But just remember for you to feel completely comfortable in your own skin, it all really starts with your mentality. It all really starts with you. That's why I'm all about self-love and like helping and everything like that. But yeah, I just want to end this video off by just saying that you are also beautiful. Please don't believe everything you see on social media. As, as I showed you before, these celebrities as well that have endless resources, probably stuff we don't even know about, we don't even hear about. They have access to that and they still look like us. We are normal, we are all the same. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I just want you to know that you're so gorgeous, you're a little queen and don't stop shining. I will see you in my next video, guys. Oh. If you haven't seen my other video about all my drugstore products, which I use some of them today, go check that out because it is something that I use every day. And this concealer as well, by the way, just a little, little pointer. I wore this the other day for the whole day I had a shoot. Came home about seven and it was actually still amazing. So I'm really impressed and I think I'm gonna buy more of it because it's so cheap and something I can wear every day because I have dark circles and I also have hollow eyes. Something that us Lebanese women or wogs um, have a lot of. And it was something that I was very self-conscious about. I was gonna get fillers, I got PRP. So it's basically when they take your blood and they inject it in your eyes. I had that done three times. And I was like, hey, I don't see a difference. Like, I, I want something more, I want something more. And it got to a place where I was very obsessive over my skin and trying to make it so perfect that I, it actually backfired and I had an allergic reaction and I had all these bubbles around my face. And I was crying for weeks um, because I felt so disgusting. And then I realized less is more. So I just want you to realize that that as well because don't like go crazy and do a hundred thousand things because they're probably gonna backfire and it's not gonna be something that you really wanna do. So that's why I like that that point in time, I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna embrace my skin how it is. Obviously I'm gonna take a step back and I really just started to love my skin and even my pores and my blackheads and my dark circles, I am makeup free 80% of the time because I'm like, this is me, you don't like it. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, thank you. I don't know. Don't really care. So yeah, I just wanted to share that little experience with you because that was crazy, but it lasted for about three to four weeks and um, finally it, it kind of slowed down. But yeah, skin a skin journey is something that we're always going to be going through and it's something that we're always going to have. So I want you to just embrace that because you embracing your skin is going to help other people to embrace their skin. And no matter what you do, if you want to do filters, whatever, do that. Just remember that at the end of the day, when you take those filters off, I want you to look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're so gorgeous the way you are. Those filters are just for fun. We're just having fun with them. We're just kind of like, okay, I want to be like Queen Elizabeth today. I'm going to put a filter on or, you know, I want to be sure, like, I was going to say um, Shirkala. I was trying to say Ur Ursula. I don't know why, but I don't know what just happened there. The heat's getting to my head. <laughs> Anyways, guys, make sure to like this video if you did and subscribe and leave me a comment down below if you resonate with anything that I said. I hope I hope you feel a bit better about yourself and you know that you're gorgeous and yeah, Instagram is Instagram, baby. Love you so much. Bye.